Hello and welcome to Enshrouded. This is a game I have been very excited to play for some time now. Uh, if you're not aware, I'm currently streaming Pal World. And obviously within that we've been discussed on the other games that have been out recently of the similar ilk, the survival games. Enshrouded in particular, seeing it has been so well received. Massive thanks to the devs and publishers for providing the key so I can take a look at the game. I'm very excited to jump into this. So we're just going to hit play, we're going to go straight in. If you don't know, Enshrouded is a survival game. Has a, an, uh, I don't know if it's... Uh, I think it's called the Enshrouded, a mechanic where you can go to places, you have a certain amount of time to be there, hopefully we'll see that in this first video. Uh, I, ooh, I do like his little moustache, we'll go with that one as a preset. Uh, I like to pick the messiest hair because on my live streams people like to make, they take the mick out of my hair because it's always a state. <laughs> Not, that one looks slightly messier, we'll go with that one. Hair colour, uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll go with brown. Is there a bigger, yeah, I like a beard. I like a beard. No, we want, we want full beard. Full beard, although I am a big fan of the mutton chops. No, we'll go for, oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm tempt, no, I'm going with mutton chops. You know what, I'm going with mutton chops. A little bit of grey for the mutton chops? Yeah, that makes sense, because I'm old. <laughs> We'll go middle of the road. We'll go middle of the road there. And it needs a name. And of course we're going to call him... Man of the... Ants. Almost couldn't spell my own tag. Right. Man of the Ants level 1 created today. Excellent. Let's just hit play. Oh, I love his little mutton chops. Uh, we're going to say... Oh, I don't know. I am probably going to play it with my friends online at some point. But we'll go, we'll go with the private game save locally. I have heard one of the things that got me particularly excited about this was that the game does work quite well as a... Uh... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm a bit confused as to why they would... had to click a couple of times for that. Uh, it is a game that you can play single player quite reasonably. An enthralling gift to the people of Ember Vale. The elixir. It was a cure. A blessing, a weapon. That's a lot of things. Once concealed by the ancients, its might had been set I don't, free. I don't like the king person on the throne. With he looked too. Power, he was too lounged, too full of himself. For more. Humanity dug the elixir wells, ripping apart the land and each other. Ah, typical humanity. Elixir and blood. A drop for a drop. At least it was in balance, I suppose. But from the depths of the wells, an unforeseen curse crept into Ember Vale. The Shroud. The Shroud. A That's what it was called. But only to spread and devour. Facing their downfall. Ancients and humans united. Oh, different to the subtitles. The flame board. Now, your time has come. Awake. Let's go. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> took took a fraction longer than I expected it to. His glorious man chops. They do make him look like he'd belong more in um, Nightingale. Got a bit more of that Victorian look to him, isn't he, with the mutton chops? So I guess this is where. Yeah, because this, this game actually sports up to 16 player online. Uh, which is crazy for a, for a game like this. Normally it's like four, which is a bit frustrating for me and my friends because there's like up to five or six of us online sometimes. Not often, but sometimes. And there are very few games we can play where there where we can actually all get on. Which is why this one... Uh, only, only two of the braziers lit. This one stood out to us a little bit. The Cinder Vault. Oh, hello. Let's have a little look around. Obviously it wants me to go here. Commune with the flame. Something happened. 
If I step out, does my rest in right? Oh, the rest in is going up in the top corner there. And it's just saying, oh, it just, just keeps going on as long as we're here. So I'm just going to stand here for about the next hour while that goes up. Just trying to hear if those actually talking in the background. You slumbered for too long, Flameborn. The realm of Embervale has fallen, consumed by the Shroud. I am very lazy and I do like my sleep, so that fits perfectly. Now the enduring flame calls for you. Find a place in the ruined world and construct a flame altar to create shelter from the dark. Let's go and hit a lot of trees. <laughs> That's how these games start. New location charted. Do we have a map? We do. Planes for the first base. Excellent. If you've watched my uh, Pal World live stream, um, prior to the stream, to stop... Something just died down there. Uh, to stop that beginning where I'm just hitting trees and rocks for like two hours, uh, I mined like 4,000 wood and stone before I even started the stream. Someone else just died. Um, which took me quite a while. And I think I was like level... 17 or something ridiculous level 12 or 17 before the stream even started just because i hit that many trees just having a look around before we go anywhere else i've left the game oh it wants us to go that way i don't know if i want to go that way now i've left all the game on its default settings no i missed something here let that have been silly a vast world awaits you filled with secrets and peril press i and navigate to the map to track your discoveries could have just said press m to go to the map right that would have made more sense, surely. We do have three things flash in here. We have our journal, where we have one quest to claim a spot for our base on the plains. Plains? Yep, I said plains. I got it wrong. I said a very simple word, wrong. You're welcome. All discovered recipes for this crafting station are saved here. You can quickly navigate different categories by selecting these icons. Here you can find the requirements and ingredients. You can pin recipes to get a notification once you've collected enough ingredients to craft the pinned recipe. I don't think we need to craft uh, pin something where we need five stone. In fact, no, we're going to do it just so we see what it looks like. Just so we see what it looks like. And it looks like that. That's sort of what I expected. We have a journal here. Uh, I'm probably not going to read all of the journals just in case there are a lot of them. And I end up spending most of this video just reading journals. Well, I guess this is the only way we can go. So let's go this way. I like that we start off with a good amount of stamina. We're not just running for like six seconds before we have to stop. So we can attack with the torch. Should we want to? Looks like the stairs go down that way anyway. So let's go for the stairs. There's another route over there. Is there anything down here we want to look at? It kind of wants us to go that way, which means I'm tempted to go this way. Oh, use a terraforming tool or explosive to forge a path through the rubble. Explosive powder balls can be thrown. Oh, there's some right there. I was going to say, I thought this was like something locked off to a higher level. But I like that you don't have to be too exact with your uh, positioning to get stuff. Uh, I played um, Robin Hood recently, the new Robin Hood game. And that you had to be like precisely looking at something. bit more there we go yeah precisely looking at something to uh, to pick it up and it got a got a little bit frustrating with how precise you needed to be we've got a hatchet lovely a versatile one-handed axe frequently used to split the skulls of enemies we have another book which i'm going to read just so it adds it to my journal Ladders are automatic. Oh, you can't slide down the ladders. Gutted. Game's terrible. Never playing it again. Ugh. Right, let's go. Oh, hello. That looks uh, breakable. Gives us another chest. What have we got here? Another torch and a bandage. I will take all. Thank you very much. I can see my torch's uh, durability going down slightly. I'm guessing that's because it burns out after so much time. Ooh, it looks very pretty and 
dark down there. The flame allows you to resist the shroud, but if you linger, you will perish. Escape the shroud to replenish your maximum time in the shroud. Got another torch. We are now three torches up. So that was what I was sort of hinting at in the beginning of the game. There are areas of the shroud where you can only exist there. Oh, for, yeah, we can see here for five minutes. Is that something that can be? Oh, I meant to do that with the... I don't think it can. So we can only survive here for five... Oh, hello. Press tab to lock onto your foes. Control to dodge. Oh, control's a weird one. I'm pressing tab. Is that not a foe? Oh, that's a foe. Right. Yeah, I'm going to be so used to pressing space to dodge things and block as well that it might... Uh... So if we need to swap targets, how do we do that? I don't know. Oh, I like that little dodge we did there. That was nice. I would pause to look at the controls, but... Um... We're just going to take it all, some runes and some cloth by the look of it. Some shroud spores. Yeah, it's torn cloth. Does that mean this guy over here dropped something? Yeah. We unlocked a recipe for a glider. And we also have a rusty short sword. I don't know how that compares to our hatchet, so we'll stick with our hatchet until we maybe have a bit more time to examine these things. And we're out of the shroud. Excellent. And we have this. If you fall, you will rise again at your last return beacon. So let's have a quick look. So we've got a flame altar. We've got a workbench now, which needs string and wood logs. We have a construction hammer, which needs just one stone. Bandages. And we can make some rags when we get some string as well. Oh, okay. I'm glad I noticed that up there. Do any of the others have? No, just those. Okay, good to know. Good to know it's there. And that just goes between those... What I wanted to look at was the uh, 11 damage, mainly cutting and piercing. Oh, a little bit of shroud damage as well. 11 damage, cutting and blunt. So they do the same amount of damage then. I'm going to go with the sword if I come across anything else in the short term then. Uh, the journal has been updated with something. Is that just the quest being updated? Has it? Why? I don't know. Or does that just mean there's an, that's our active quest, perhaps? So where's our sword? We need to move that so it's closer to my, my fingers. Pop it there. There we go. It's so very, very tempting to just spend a lot more time exploring, but we should probably start getting our base set up, shouldn't we? Still going in roughly the right direction, but if there's a walk and see. Long keep new location charted. We've just leveled up and I got an achievement for leveling up. Go me. Aren't I amazing? I don't want to sleep. I just want to loot. What's that? Some water. I can see we have a blue bar above our or below our, I'm assuming is our health. I don't know if that's water or if that's a combination of water and food. I don't know quite how the survival mechanics work in Enshrouded, but you know, that's what we're here for. We'll learn. Is that a dangerous bunny? Oops, I went to collect it. Oh, they're running away from me anyway. Oh, that got us string. Wouldn't expect that to give us string. Oh, they don't. They normally give us plant fiber. Okay. There is a well. Water is a great source of vitality. Drink it to enhance your stamina and regenerate faster. Cool. I will. Oh. Okay. So does that mean we can now drink some water and then scoop some more? Oh. A lot more. I thought it would only refill the one, but it just, just keeps on going. We're enshrouded there. Why is that little bit enshrouded? Bunny stuck. We get some raw lean meat and some animal fur. Awesome. Now, obviously, I don't want to go too deep into this. I was trying to parry and I failed miserably. Oh, and it did a lot of damage. 
did a lot of damage. More damage than I was anticipating. We did get a health potion, though, so... I don't know if I'd say that fight was particularly worth it. That's some string over there. Can I just break that? Yeah. So I think that's all that was in that little area of Enshrouded. Some archery practice, another one of those rabbits. A mushroom I'm guessing we can collect. Of course we can. It's a bit more Enshrouded. I know I said I wasn't going to run around and explore things too much, but I'm immediately getting distracted by everything that's around. Ooh. The last one did wallop us good. Just seeing what our dodge was like. So they don't get much of a chance to attack if you wallop them a lot first. Oh, that one guy's got a shield. Don't do that. It's just like a whole thing. It's a whole thing. It's going to keep whacking him. Oh, he's not dead. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. In deadly shroud. Is that damaging me? Or it's just the shroud is going down faster. Okay. Anything in here? I don't want to go too deep into this. He keeps saying going deeper into this. Is it worth us slapping stuff? Is anything likely to be inside? Yes, actually. There is. That's worth bearing in mind. Cool. Let's get out. Ooh. Let's get out of here. Seems there's anything else around. I don't think there is. Cool. Well, we've had a little bit of an explore. We've come across some enshrouded areas. We've almost run out of our sword's durability. Location reached. This is where it wants us to build our base. We need some stone. We don't have any stone. Um, do we have a way of getting stone? I was thinking... Of, oh, there we go. We're looking for smallest... I'm guessing I can't whack the big ones quite yet. I mean, there's so much stone right here. Why can't I collect this? What's dying over there and what's killing it? Is that a wolf? Not convinced I want to mess with a wolf right now. I just want some more stone. Right, I have been all over this area. I have collected oodles of stone. I did have a go at taking down a tree, but if we don't have a look at this... Oh, it's working different now. The tree I attacked just now only, um, only did any damage on the third swing. While I'm here, can I hold just down to attack? No, I have to click. Okay, well now we've got some wood as well. Cool. So, back over here. Uh, how do we build? Oh, I like that. You can go between, like, weapons and, uh, and good stuff. How do we build? How do we build? Are you going to tell me how to build? The flame martyr will mark the spot for your base. In your base, you will later be able to craft and build shelter. Craft the flame altar and place it to establish your base. You don't have to place your altar in the plains. You can choose any above shroud area to establish your base. I don't know if we can have more than one base. I think for now, we will just build it here just out of uh, necessity. B. 
Not B, that's backpack. Uh, C for craft. No, C's crouch. Q or E? T? G? Okay, let's just look at the controls. Not controller bindings. That's not going to help us. Uh, it's weird it doesn't tell you... Oh, we can do... We can sit. Weird it doesn't tell you how to build as part of the uh, tutorial. Unless it did and I completely missed it. That is also quite likely. Quick builder menu is tab. I would never have guessed that. Because it's not. Because it's not. What? Oh, I see. Right. In my crafting menu, I have to craft it first. So you're not, not building this like you would the other things. You, you craft it in here. I see. Right. That took me a moment to figure out. We have one of those in, in our inventory. Excellent. I'm going to put it right in the middle here. Did that go? It did. It went onto this bar. Just make sure there's nothing. I'd like it to be relatively flat. Because I don't know how well the game deals with... Uh, terrain differences so let's put it this looks pretty good here yeah right here boom and i can commune with the flame you are not alone there are other survivors drowsing not dowsing they're not looking for water using a stick drowsing in nearby ancient vaults find them so they may aid you in your journey go gently one beckons nearby just outside of the shroud's gasp we can upgrade the altar to extend its building range. I like that. I like that a lot. We can strengthen the flame to gain global benefits. What are the benefits? Or oh, extra time in the shroud and shroud passage level goes up. And altar activation capacity and character att attribute bonuses. That just upgrades the area. And we can reset our skill points with some runes. That's always good to know. And we can extinguish the flame to remove the altar. Any placed items will be lost as they are consumed by the shroud. Um, it's night. I feel like we probably need a house, but I don't really know how to build a house yet. What else can we build? We could build a workbench. Let's build a workbench. Oh, wait, can we build the... Oh, wait, go, 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 go. How, oh, shield wouldn't be a bad shout. I just want to make sure I don't run out of stuff, ideally. That only does the same amount of damage as everything else does. That would be great, but I assume you also then need to craft uh, arrows. That takes up most of our string. What else takes string? We could build a campfire. That could be good. Maybe you, own, maybe you don't need those within your base, though. We can get the pickaxe and the axe to do wood cutting. Oh, that takes string as well. Hmm. Do I get armor or a workbench? It doesn't say we need a workbench at the moment. I'm going to go for the armor. I feel like that's possibly more important for us in the short term. Um, I'm going to get the shield, which is going to use our last string. And then I can't get those because they need string. We can make string from plant fiber. There we go. Nice. Um... Oh, there's a lockpick as well. Oh, okay, okay. I'm getting myself distracted now. We probably don't need the club. I'm going to craft the bow just in case. I actually wanted to stay in my inventory there. <clears throat> so I assume that means it is equipped. No, I need to equip to use. How do I equip? On my character? On my character. Uh, so we can put a shield on there. Lovely. We can put our bow on there. Lovely. We don't have that. We do have a shirt, though. Nice. Nothing there. Nothing different in there. I'm just going to check everything just to make sure. We don't have a glider. A grappling hook. I do love a grappling hook. Okay, cool. So that's that sorted. What do we want to do over here? We Well, I'll keep that there. Can we not stack the torches? No. That's a bit of a shame. Let's just sort this out a little bit. Um, I was going to put the bow down there, but I don't have the bow because that's well, that's over here. We do have to have the bow as a as an item you select. Okay, good to know. Um, and then we want the water probably on this bar down here. What's this? Well, we do have we do have arrows. I wonder if they came with the bow. Do we need to equip them? Will they, will they just get used from our inventory? Let's find out, right? Let's find out. 
looks, yeah, it looks like it automatically used the arrow. Cool. I would love a little bit of shelter to survive the night, but it doesn't look like we're going to get that. Um, it said it put something on our map. Oh, that's further away than I thought. 400 meters. All right, let's go. Oh, wait, I could do with healing. Does water heal me? Or do I need to use a health potion? No, water does not heal me. I might have to use the health potion. Um, does food heal me? If I eat a mushroom? That one does not. If I eat a raw piece of meat? Nope, I got food poisoning. <laughs> I don't know what I thought would happen. I should have made a campfire. That's what I should have done. There we go. Three shots, three hits. Go me. Awesome. More raw meat. I should eat that. Idiot. Idiot. Well, the food poisoning's almost gone, so that's nice. If I gotta go down there, that's a big bit of in, of, of shroudment. Ooh. Fireflies. Nice. Do I have a weight limit? Not that I can see. Oh, I forgot about this. This is the other thing that when I saw this, I was like, oh, I'm going to enjoy this game. Look at this skill tree. Oh, it looks delicious. Oh, it looks so delicious. We'll dig into that later. a dude just over there. Should I be... Let's just let him go for now. Let's just let him go. Because our thing's right here we need to go to. I'm just going to go... Before I deal with whatever that is and it wants us to go see, I'm just going to check these little shacks out. Oh, I could sleep in this bed. I'm not convinced it's worth the durability of my uh, sword to break these things. Another little bit of wonderful journal information. And we've got some arrows. I will take arrows. Thank you very much, my friends. Do I want to... Oh, I suppose we'll go over here and see what this says. And then maybe we'll consider sleeping afterwards. That's a nice little speedy jump. Can jump forward faster than I can run. Oh, arrows? Any more? Yes, but I can't collect... Oh, I can collect that one. Okay. Nice. Three arrows. Can't collect that spear that's stuck in that guy, though. Or that sword. You can't proceed without a grappling hook. Seek a path through the shroud instead. I guess that's why that's all lit up down there. Is it going to give us something super useful? Oh, the bandages heal. Hold up. Hold up. Let's get the bandages on our... So what is this? This gives you just 200 health. That's string. Uh, they give you 4% healing per second. And it stops when damage is received. Okay. What is What are these runes? Are they just runes? Oh, no, the runes are what we used to do. The um, respec as well as other things, I suspect. Okay, let's use a bandage. Just a quick scout through to make sure it's not giving us any crucial information. There's another torch. Really want... Not a big fan of that. Really wants us to have a torch in the shroud, doesn't it? Well, let's see if we can get through the shroud without dying. Stay on the path lest the shroud's kin take you. Salvation lies straight ahead. Okay, I'm going to follow that advice and stick to the path. Unless I see something interesting. I was on it. I was waiting. I was watching my sword thinking that's going to go soon. And go it did. There was something for us to search up here. I was really hoping it's going to give me that sword. It did not give me that sword. Anything in here? No. 
The hourglass capsule replenishes your remaining time in the shroud. It's consumed upon use and cannot be stashed in the inventory. I'm guessing it's not too important for this relatively short trip through the shroud. Looks like we should be... Oh, I was going to say heading out of the shroud. Nope. Not today. I could probably unpin that. It's a shame that when that crafting thing, that when you craft it, it doesn't automatically unpin it. I'd say that is my only negative thing to say about the game so far. It looks beautiful. Some weird sort of camera clip -y things. Oh, we can climb that. I wondered where I was going to go next. Should have assumed it was climbable. We are no longer enshrouded. Oh, I'd also like to start like a little simple climbing animation there. That would be nice. Oh, that's a, a campfire. Interact with campfires to cook food. Yeah, okay. You sure I shouldn't just poison myself? Or sit near them to become rested in the woods. Place food in your action bar, select it, and press the left mouse button to cook. Is that cooked? Does that sound mean cooked? I'm assuming it does. Let's have a quick look to see what it says about it. Grilled lean meat. Yes, yeah, so it's one of these systems where you have to pay attention to the cooking sound then. Otherwise, I suspect you will burn it. Da 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 da. I'm just making sure again there's nothing immediately required for us. It did charter a new location though. A bridge construction report. Can we fast travel back to our base? Oh, we can. I'm not going to try it, because obviously we've got no way to fast travel back over here. I wonder if you can do that from anywhere. Or if there are only certain places you can travel from, a la Palworld. Hello. Wasn't too sure if it's like a statue or something, and I saw he had a crossbow, and I was like, that's a problem for us. And obviously we don't get his crossbow, that'd be crazy. I can see some traps, can we disarm traps? Yep. Oh, but we don't get to pick them up and keep them, that's what I was more wondering. But we'll disarm them, because I'm an idiot. Oh, we can jump onto ladders. I always like a game when you can jump onto the ladder. There's nothing more disappointing. It's <laughs> literally nothing more disappointing in a game than not being able to jump onto a ladder. Oh, I thought that was a blue shiny thing. It looked very collectible with the uh, light. Oh, look at that beautiful sunrise. Isn't that gorgeous? Ah. I know skyboxes, well, I assume skyboxes are relatively simple, because it seems to be something that relatively simple games manage to achieve quite easily. Um, but nonetheless, I love a good skybox. It wants us to go this way. I should probably actually go this way. Let's focus. Let's focus. It's early game. Let's focus on getting ourselves set up, right? I wonder if I was gonna get, this guy's going to give us a grappling hook who we're going to go up here to see. Slight. Oh, keep pressing F to collect. I do have a very clicky keyboard, so apologies about the uh, constant clicking. It's somewhat unavoidable in these games. Hello? Bees? Bees? I've got a torch. Surely you should not like the torch. Well, if the bees are gone... Oh, there's only there's two hives there. There's a hive over here. Though. I wonder if we can uh, collect the honey. Oh, we can just walk up to it. Okay. I, I, the, the bees have distracted me so much, I've got no idea what I was saying. Nope, lit literally no. I've got literally no idea what I was saying before then. Bushes can conceal you when you are within them. You can use them to sneak up. Oh, I'm a bit late for that. A bit late for that. Stand up. Get your...
And we did a little whirlwind attack. Wasn't expecting it. Drop your weapons. There we go. Ooh. But it did give us a provisional scythe. I do like a scythe. I do like a game that lets you use a scythe. Something very satisfying about it. Let's move that up there. I'm also going to put a torch up here because our other one is running out. Um, that gives us plus one constitution. Don't directly know what that means. That's a stamina recharge. Let's pop that down there. That down there. We might as well just take that off our bar. Uh, we can equip the ring. Oh, there it is. What does it actually do? Plus eight stamina, plus ten to health. Captain Arkwright is engraved in the metal, given to the most loyal commanders. I. Oh, wait. What? I was going to say, where's my shield? I completely forgot I had a shield. For a second, it's like I equipped a shield, but I'm sure the game hasn't put it on my character model. Nope, it definitely has. I'm just not very observant. Quick scout around. See, oh, I was going to hit those, but then that looks very explosive. Let's not hit the clearly explosive thing. Some plant and some... Oh, man. Did not enjoy being searched. Neither did that. Why are these things exploding when I search them? Oh, there's a ladder. Ah. Doesn't seem like I can go fast up ladders either. There's a book. Eureka! Da -da 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 -da. See, if I was reading these things, it would have added like at least 5 10 minutes to the. Uh, I was going to say stream for a second. To the video by now. Oh my life, give me a slide down ladders. Give me a slide down ladders. It's probably actually quite hard to do in real life when you have no shoes or gloves. I imagine you would be splintered to all but Jesus. Oh, this is another awakening vault. Can I parry him? Absolutely not. He's just going to wail on me and I died. That's what I get for trying to be somewhat clever. Uh, is this the one from the very beginning? Oh no, it's back. Okay. Oh, we need to go through the shroud again though, doesn't it? Okay. I'll be right back. Okay, we have made it back to this little area here. Relatively uneventful run. It doesn't respawn all the enemies straight away, so that was nice. I do also like, though, that when you die, you don't drop your equipment, a la Palworld. Because uh, if I started with no weapons, no torches, no shield, no nothing, and I had to go and fight this guy, it, it would cause me some problems. I suppose I could craft the stuff. That would make sense. But still, I like the fact that it doesn't do that. I'm just going to uh, grab my stuff before anything. That went slightly better. We still took a whack, but it went better. Doesn't drop any good loot for us, though, does he? Well, that's one death. At least there was one death this video, right? That'll make some people happy. <laughs> the sort of people that like to watch me die. Which tends to be a lot of people, weirdly. Oh, it's a blacksmith by the sound of it. I only skim read through it, but uh, it looks like this is going to be a blacksmith. Come to me, blacksmith. Oswald Anders the blacksmith. Hello? Well, I assumed he was going to pop out and talk to us. You retrieved a survivor. Place them in your home with the summoning staff. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought he was going to come out and talk to us about stuff and be like, Hey, mate, how's it going? You know, yada, yada, yada. This is flashing. I don't know why this is flashing. Did I pick up something I wasn't aware of? Already looked at trousers. No. I don't know why that's flashing then. That's confusing me. Uh, we do not have any points. We did level up though, didn't we? Oh no, you use the runes to do it, or whatever that, that that thing is. Where do we see that thing? Is that something in our backpack? No, it's not the runes, is it? 
Oh, it's up there. There it is. We do have two points. I'm not sure we're going to pull off a lot of sneak attacks. Base duration for the rested buff is increased. You only need three instead of six seconds to revive an ally. Well, that's ally even. Let's use this to us. We've got these, I'm guessing. Oh, no, we just can't afford them. So we can't power parry. We can't get that one. All tools use durability slower is brilliant. Pickaxe deals 30% more damage against stone objects is very useful. And this one is a merciless... Can we get this one? Yeah, I was wondering because I didn't know if it, you had to like get this before you get the other ones. But obviously anything within this circle is fair game. Perform a merciless attack by pressing E to deal massive damage to an enemy you've overpowered. To overpower an enemy, fill their stun bar by attacking while they block or by parrying their attack. Oh, we need to, we're going to have to get good at parrying. Oh, that's always a cause for concern for me. When you need to rest, you can fast travel back to your home by opening your map. Navigate to the map. Don't, again, why doesn't it tell you to press I? Why does it tell you to press... Why doesn't it tell you to press M? Why does it say to open your inventory and then go to the map from there? Maybe that's like a console thing. Because consoles aren't going to have, you know, all the buttons to get... Or not console, that's the wrong button. Uh, wrong word. <laughs> wrong button. <sighs> it's the wrong word. I meant to say a controller thing. I think I just parried him. I didn't mean to. I was just practicing whether I could swing my weapon at the same time as... Um, holding block. Which you can, by the way. Which I also like. This is a, a road is blocked, a grappling hook is required to cross. We'll have a little look around before we fast travel back. I mean, I'm doing again the exact thing I said I wouldn't do. There's a shrouded area there. That wolf appears to be stuck. I have unstuck him because I am a generous, benevolent person. The earth is rich. The earth is rich with minerals. Mine or ore veins with a pickaxe to obtain them. Certain ores can only be found inside the shroud. Can we put down... Oh, it comes up on the map anyway. I was going to say, can we put down markers? But it's already come up. So this is a pretty small and shrouded area. Oh, shroud liquid. Okay. Let's uh, let's grab as much of that as we. Should I go in this? We're safe. We're safe. Only one way to find out, and that's to jump into it and see if you immediately die. Is this something that we could? It does take damage. Let's try whacking it a few times and see what happens. We got a crit, and the crit did no more damage. Oh, it did go down. Oh, but it didn't drop anything. I wonder if it's going to drop something interesting. It does not. Oh, twigs. Twigs are a thing. I didn't know twigs were a thing. I've probably collected some along the way, because you look like you're getting from these small trees as well, but I've not noticed them. Again... Observant. We did mention that, didn't we? It's a really good uh, thing for a, well, a gamer in general to be, but, you know, a YouTuber as well. Just be really observant so you know what's going on. And then you won't make any mistakes or do anything silly. Although I have watched two separate, quite um, well-established YouTubers... Uh, play the new Timberborn update where you have the bad tide, the bad water, and I've seen both of them muck it up so badly that they're in, almost their entire population of beavers is poisoned. I mean, maybe it was intentional to show off the mechanic, but they did not sound like they made it intentional. It sounded like they were both very much uh, ashamed of their mistakes. Right. Mine, ancient thing with the blacksmith. Let's fast travel back here.
That's the noise it should make when you do that. <laughs> Commune with the flame. Ha! The survivor or this survivor will be a worthy addition to our cause. Place them into the world with a summoning staff, which you can craft from simple twigs. Well, I'm glad we picked up twigs, because if it is out there, if that is the first time we picked up twigs, that would be a shame. No, we've got loads of twigs. Okay, right, let's craft that. We've got a little bit more. Well, of course, you can make string from plant fiber. We've got. Let's make the axe. Let's make the pickaxe, because we're going to need it. Uh, we've got another weapon, so I'm not bothered about the club. Oh, a wand? Do you know, I've sort of forgotten you could do magic in this game. I do love me some magic. What about... That does 11 physical and magical resistance. I do need shoes. Oh, we crafted them, but there's nowhere for them to go in the backpack. So where did they go? Wait, no. Did they get crafted and then I just lost it? Oh no, they got crafted, and now I can't make anything. Right, it doesn't just make you lose things. That's nice. Oh, they are some very poor looking shoes. And they have no resistance to anything. They are abysmal. Okay. I'd love it if you could stack torches. Guess what we really need is a chest, right? To try and just dump all of this stuff that we do not need. But for now, I'm assuming that on seven is our summoning staff. Tab to ready the summoning staff. Uh, yes, please. I'm going to put him right here. Oh, there is a snapping option, should you wish it. I do like a game which gives you the option. Hey! Hey! Anders! I'm just going to call you Anders. I know you had a first name, but to me, you will just be Anders. Where there's fire, there's hope. Where there's fire, there's hope. Uh, so we can craft at the blacksmith. He can make a forge, a charcoal kiln, nails, felling axes. We need shroud wood for that. Uh, a scrappy pickaxe. We're already getting access to better weapons than we can craft. A lockpick. I wonder if he can make that more efficiently than we can. A spiked club, but you need nails. But he can craft the nails from metal scraps. Fair armor, which he can already craft. Well, I kind of regret making the shoes in the top. And dishes, a decorative object to design and beautify your home. Oh, you can do more stuff up there as well. Any, what else do the armor does? Oh, yeah. Scrappy sword up there as well. Any others have any of those options? No. You can also enhance equipment. All upgradable items from your backpack and action bar are listed here. Enhancing an item unlocks new perks. Each perk costs runes. Gather runes by salvaging weapons and other equipment. Ah, interesting. So you can salvage. Where do you salvage? This is our crafting menu. I was just seeing if there's more along the top there. And now we have the wooden arrows. Now we made the uh, bow in the first place. And that is our backpack. So where do we salvage? Do we just salvage stuff? Oh, let's read this then. Took you long enough to find me. Look at you, weak and puny. I'm not going to do the voice the whole time. It's all right. And they call you Flameborn. First thing you need is equipment. Lucky you woke me up first. Crafting a scrappy sword, a spike club, awesome armor will serve us well. Ember Veil can still be saved. Where there's ash, there's embers, kid. No. No, that's not true. Smoke fire? Technically not true, but much more accurate. Ash embers, no. The shroud suffocates the valley, so seek the Alexa well with your new gear and raise the root of our misery. Ignite the depths and set this evil ablaze. Go on, I'm counting on you, Flameborn. He's got really chill towards the end. Uh, well rested. Even with new gear, you shouldn't feel too safe out there. Rest up and eat well before you head out. A fire, a roof over your head, and some meat in your belly will prepare you for anything. I would love to have a roof over my head, but that is not an option for me right now. Does it... Hold on. Now that I'm getting an idea of how the game works, I wonder if I just need to use that item. I would like more, but I'm already... I'm like, what, into this? 50 minutes into this, and already I need another action bar. This isn't enough for me. Yeah, it's going to be that. It's going to be that. There we go. There we go. Da, da, da. Oh, you can only go up one. thought it was going to go up loads. 
how do you I assume when you pressed alt you'll be able to just go along okay so you've got different oh, that's different widths but they're the same depth okay so it's just rather than having like specific tiles for uh, floors or whatever well, how do I go wait what I'm pressing Q All right, so just the wheel goes through those. And then I can use the wheel and alt to go through these. Right, okay. And you can modify the terrain as well. We haven't really touched on it. We saw it a bit before when we blew up the wall with the um, the grenade things. But the, the I think the whole world is voxel-based. So you can deform the terrain to your heart's content. Ah, but we need to craft blocks to do any of this. And for that, we need a workbench. Yeah, I'm going to clear the well, all right? I'm going to clear the well. All right, so what do I need for stuff? I need. I feel like I want armor and a weapon. So what are we going to need if we want all that? Nails. We can do some nails. That's not a problem. So we could get um, a one-handed club or a one-handed sword. They are both level 5. That's 16 damage. That's 17. One is blunt. One is mainly cutting. They have the same amount of uh, durability, so I don't know why I wouldn't go for that. It's got less resources and does more damage. And then for the armor, we need more string, which is fine. Is it saying that because we don't have that? I guess so. And more animal scraps. We're going to need more string. So first of all, let's make some more string. I haven't seen the plant fiber used for anything else, and we've got absolutely loads of it. Can I just hold down space to do loads? No, of course I can. So I'm just going to use up all my plant fiber. There's no slot available in the backpack. Hmm. Hmm. How? It's, it came up and said that I had a... a, a a chest available to me. How do I craft a chest? It's not part of this, is it? No, that's literally just sort of the building stuff. So how do I... Maybe if I build a workbench, but I've got nowhere in my inventory to put it. Let's eat something or do something. I have this. Let's eat this. Will he, he's got, He's just won't stop having a go at me, this guy. Right. Crafting. Workbench. Blocks, items, repair, broken equipment. Craft. Where did it go? Oh, there's no space on my bar, so I'm going to have to go and put it over here somewhere. Where's the front of the workbench? It's probably that bit, isn't it? How do I rotate? Not with that. How do I rotate? R. I'm going to put it right next to the blacksmith. I imagine this is something we will move at some later point. <clears throat> so we can make rough stone blocks. We can make... Oh, that's, we do need some plant fiber. Well, that's fine. Storage. A small magical chest. No, just a chest. Just a small chest or a tiny chest. Nails. Okay, so for now, let's just make this one. Let's make a tiny chest. And let's put that right here. He's still going on. He's still going on at me. Right, um... Let's think. What don't we need? Well, that hasn't been cooked. Let's, I don't know if this stuff degrades. Is there a way if I just... If I right-click? No. If I... Oh, shift and shift and click. Okay, let's get rid of all of this. Uh, we'll put that in there. We don't need that. We don't need the summoning staff here. Unless we're going to need it if we find someone else. But we'll figure that out when we get there, I suppose. Did it automatically repair... Oh, it automatically repaired our equipment at the workbench. I kind of like that. We don't really, really need three weapons on us. And I'm going to guess Shroud doesn't do much damage to Shroud enemy. So let's get rid of that. We don't need... Shroud Liquid we don't need. Old Books we don't need. I'm pretty sure you can craft from your chest. So we'll get rid of all this stuff as well. And now it's full. But now we've got plenty of space in our backpack. 
Right, what do we need? We needed nails. That's you. We've got no metal scraps. Because I crafted the chest. We need lots of metal. Oh no, because that's in our chest. Oh, so you can't craft from your chest? Oh. Immediately disappointed. Crafting from a chest is like 101. It's the one thing I read that Nightingale didn't do, and I was like, oh, I don't like that. No one mentioned that doesn't happen in this game either. So let's get all the crafting materials back out again. And let's, what can we dump in here that we're not going to need then? Um, wax, perhaps? Um, we've got all sorts of arrows. We've got all sorts of arrows. I don't know what I can really get rid of safely. The runes, maybe? Fireflies? I mean, we've got pl plenty of space now. We can also put some of this stuff down here. What's this? The pickaxe and the axe we'll put down there. I don't think they need to be on anything. You just use them. How you swap between them, though, is... Uh, is an unknown that we'll have to look into. So if I bring my bow out... Oh, it's weird Q does that. Ah, and then you can swap between them with the arrow. Okay, nice. Right. Nails. How many nails are we going to need? If we wanted to do... Oh, these don't need nails. It's the weapon that needed nails. We just need four nails. So let's make four nails. And then let's see how much of this we can make. We want that. 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 Oh, excellent. We can make all of it. Sweet. So we want that. We want... How much better is it? 17 to 26. And that's better because we didn't have any before. We also didn't have any of that. That's now 15 and 15. And let's get rid of these shoddy, shoddy shoes that we should never even bothered crafting. They're not massively better, but they'll do. They look a little bit better as well, more importantly. Um, and then over in our... Oh, we go need to go over to our... Oh, our chest full already, isn't it? Yeah. Might make another chest. Let's make another tiny chest. Oh, you can stack it. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Um, we don't need... Oh, hang on. Can we... Sal how do we salvage this stuff? Come out of here. How do I salvage equipment? I don't know yet. But I'm not going to get rid of it until we, uh, until we figure that out, though. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Do we want to keep some items on us in case we... Why have we still got nails? Because we never made the weapon. Because we never made the weapon. Oh, he's got more stuff there. We'll talk about that in a second. I, I think in the Spite Club over the sword, I think the only benefit the sword has is that it looks cooler. I mean, obviously it does the cut into blunt as well, which might make a difference. But that little bit of extra damage, I like that. Shelter. I need a proper shop to smith in. Only then can I craft the right equipment for your journey. Don't fret, it's not hard to build one. You'll need a workbench, some building blocks, and a construction hammer. Let's get to work. And glider. The flame doesn't give you wings, kid. Craft a glider at the workbench. It'll make getting around a little easier. Perfect for brave ones like you. Don't forget that using a glider drains stamina. But from what I've seen, you've got it in ya. Did I see a glider? I didn't see a glider. Oh, they're there, but we can't do them yet because you need shroud wood. So is that crossed out because it's in our inventory? Or is it just crossed out because we don't have it? I don't know. I'm guessing because we just don't have it. <clears throat> okay, we're not all that important for right to this moment. So let's pop that there. We, I think we only really need to take two weapons out with us. And I do like a scythe. So that gives us cutting, uh, sorry, that gives us blunt and piercing. And then this one will stick in the inventory over here. I don't know if we need to worry about carrying stuff with us or if we can just get rid of it all whilst we go back into the shroud. I mean, I could probably do with sleeping, to be honest. Can I make a bed? 
No. But I could probably do with sleeping and regaining some of this health. Let's make... V for crafting us close. Let's make a campfire. I don't have any wood because it's in storage. Let's make a campfire. I don't know if it stays lit. Let's put the campfire a little bit away. I took the meat off of me. Right, let's grab this. Is that the only meat? I thought I had a couple of bits of meat. Am I meatless? I'm meatless. Oh, it's night time again. Uh, and I didn't put any meat in there, did I? No. Oh, I was waiting for it to say something, but it doesn't, does it? You just have to uh, wait, listen, listen. There we go. Oh, food type already active. I don't know how or why. All right, let's have a bandage instead then. Let's get ourselves... Oh, we are pretty rested. I think he's got something else to say. Oh, he doesn't. He just had a little speech icon above him. I thought he did. Okay. Right. We've got our club. We've got our shield. We've got some fire armor. It's the middle of the night. Oh, no, we need to talk to the flames. Commune with the flame. You have awakened your kin. The flame is pleased. Seek out more survivors slumbering in the springlands. I will. What are our actual missions right now? Clear the elixir well, which gives us a head. Okay. Doesn't say how to clear it either. Uh, we need to build the blacksmith a shop. And we need to build a glider, which rewards us with a glider. Who'd have thought it? Who'd have thought it? Right, so we need to head back. I'm guessing there's nowhere else we can fast travel to. And this is the location, I'm assuming, of the elixir. Well, yes. What is... What is... What is... The, oh, there's a journal entry. Forge weapons. Oh, there's a spot for collecting metal scraps. This quest will also be completed if you beat the elixir well. I'm just going to go straight for the elixir well, then. I'm not mad. So we have been going longer than I would normally do a video. I normally try to limit it to about an hour. We're up to about an hour ten at the moment. But let's carry on going till we get this first elixir well. Well, I'm going to rephrase that. Let's carry on going and try to get this first... We can go down this way, look. This first elixir well. I'm hoping it's right over there where that massive thing is. Can't see any enemies. I also can no longer see the massive building. Are these special twigs? They're just twigs. They're just twigs. Did want us to get in short. Oh, it's below. Can we go? Sod. No, we can't. No, we can't. I didn't even... I just wanted a little gander. That's all I wanted to do. Just have a little look. Oh, all right. Be right back. All right, so I've got to the point very close to where I... What do you want me to go over there? Can I get my stuff first and then head back? Not easily. Maybe it's a good thing I took all that equipment off me, right? I was going to try and parry it, and I just pressed the wrong button instead. Because why not, right? That definitely looked like a chest to me.
The lights wanted me to go this way, though. Oh, shroud liquid. For a second, I thought we had some shroud wood. Let's have a very quick test. Press the wrong button. I don't even know what I had. It's a very calm swing he's got, isn't it? Does this give a shroud wood? It does. That's what I wanted to know. So I guess we need to head... I don't know. We're, only, we're running drastically low on time. Alright, let's belt it. Let's belt it. Oh, we've got no stamina. Let's let our stamina regenerate. Whilst we slowly belt it in this direction. I'm assuming this will swing around to the left and allow us to get to uh, where we need to go. Ah, oh, the location is now above. I assumed it was um, literally underground. Oh, hello. Oh, I can't get the parry. That's not what I wanted. I think I accidentally parried him. It's going to take the health potion. No, not the bandage as well. <sighs> That's a problem. That's a problem. We've only got a minute left. I'm figuring if we can just... Smash whatever this is. Where is it we're trying to get to? Okay, so that's given us some more time in the shroud. Location reached. I am very confused. Does it literally mean I have to go there? And that's what it means by above. Do I have to go here? And then head down here? And now it's saying location above. And this looks right though, doesn't it? And there's a reason it gave us more time when we started coming down here, right? What's that? What's that? That looks important. Is that the well? The fact it's still saying location above is troubling me somewhat. Keep your stamina because there's probably going to be enemies here. A fell thunder brute. Get ready to dodge. Didn't dodge. Oh, it's control to dodge. I knew it would do me over. The shroud root is the source of our misery. Destroy it with a felon axe. Oh, I'm very glad I brought a felon axe with me. Is this doing anything? Oh, it is. Okay. And now the shroud is gone. And now the shroud is gone. Oof. We have got a fancy new weapon there. Let's have a quick look at that. A misfortune mace. Yes, mate. Yes, mate. <laughs> Oh, it's slow and it's two-handed, so I don't get a shield. But let's give it a go, right? I know the shroud is gone, but I'm buggered if I'm touching that. <laughs> Can I jump in the lava look and see over there? No, thank you. No, I'm good. Oh, wait, where did I come from? Maybe I do have to touch it. Well, I came from here, didn't I? We're okay. I really didn't want to touch it. I'm not going to keep hitting that. That'll take 14 years. We've got an ice bolt. 
What does an ice bolt do? Oh, staff. Oh, so your staffs. Oh, and we got the fell thunder root head as well. Materials for something. So your staff, your spells, you have to use like arrow like equipment for. Interesting. Interesting. Wouldn't mind going down the magic route. Right, let's at least head back to the blacksmith and then we will probably start thinking about calling it time. Oh, I also need to get my. Oh, yeah. I come across this before when I. after my first death. Where you also need stamina to climb, and if you run out of stamina, you fall. So you get to these sort of occasions where you don't have enough stamina, so you have to wait. Just chilling at the bottom, waiting for your stamina to recharge. I know I came down those stairs, but what, where does this route lead? To a chest? It's always worth exploring. We've got a wand! we got a wand! Banging! And there's no way up from there. Okay. I'm going to stop running because I know I need to climb up in a moment. Sounds like there's something very unhappy up here. Ah, so ladders don't take stamina, but these do. That seems weird to me. Didn't do quite as much uh, as I thought it might. For all of its fanciness. Still looking quite shroudy, I would say. That's going to explode. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Okay, no, we're going to have to swap back to the club. That's doing us no favours. Oh, that was an archer. Let's try and get out of the range of the archer. This is getting dire. Okay, he's given up for the moment. I'm assuming if I die that I lose my other equipment that I dropped. Oh, we're still enshrouded here. Why are we still enshrouded? Does this take a while to disappear? Oh, it's a grappling hook point. That's what that is. I'm assuming it's just that. I don't know. Is my body up? I must be up some. There isn't really a climbing mechanic in the game. Oh no. It happened again. <laughs> Let's put us here at least. We can go and get the stuff we just dropped. But I'm now assuming the stuff that we dropped the first time round is lost to us forever. Which is a crying shame. But hey ho, it's early on. We dropped most of our materials and stuff off, so it's not the end of the world. Oh, our stuff is still there. But I think we're going to struggle to get it. Might struggle to get this one, to be honest. We're okay. Yeah, I've got no idea how I'm going to get that. Right. I guess you can't fast travel from enshroudment. I do want to try to get up there, seeing if I can get my stuff. There's probably lots more to explore around here. But for now, we can always come back another time. There will always be more time. I'm going to run past that dude.
pretty sure there's no way to get it. I'm pretty sure there's no way to get it. But let's just let's just make sure, yeah. Without dying again, ideally. No, no, it's gone. It's gone. I'm not even going to attempt it. It's gone. Okay. Can we fast travel from enshroudment? No. I assumed that would be the case. But now we know for sure. There's some more shroud liquid here. Let's grab... Let's not grab a bunch of that because there's some dudes over there. How did we get in here? Oh, we jumped down, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But this is the way we come out. Well, this is where we got in in the first place. So let's head up here. And uh, I'll see you back at base. All right, we are back at base. Beautiful stuff. What does the blacksmith have to say? Break something. Oh, nothing. Okay. Scale in an ancient spire. Ember Vale has changed. Before our time, a race of ancients built towers to survey the land. The ancient spires. One is close by. Climb it and discover the world anew. I'm going to guess we're going to need the grappling hook for that. What are you waiting around for? Craft a grappling hook if you want to further explore Ember Vale. Oh, we craft that at the workbench. I just want, I'm not going to actually even bother crafting yet. I just want to see if we can. No. We still need... I mean, string and metal scraps. We probably can. Oh, no, because the metal scraps would be on me. Did I lose all my metal scraps when I died? Because it said we were supposed to collect a bunch from the uh, from the shroud, didn't it? Ah, but the flame has more to say to us. Behold a glimmer of strength, flameborn. Fell in the shroud route granted you skill points. Spend them in the skill tree to unlock new wondrous powers. Forget the way of the warrior, the ranger, and the wizard. You must forge your own path if you wish to survive. Oh, it's got more to say. Spend the skill points you acquired on your journey in the skill tree. Oh, it's literally it. Is it just going to keep saying that? I guess so. Is that literally our, our new quest? Spend a skill point. Ascend the ancient spire, which I'm sure we're going to have to need the grappling hook for. And a glider probably to get down wouldn't hurt either. Awesome. Well, whew, I don't know if you could tell, but I bloody well enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with that. Looking forward to playing some more. This will probably become, at the very least, a mini-series. Maybe we'll think about uh, doing, like, uh, you know, I don't know, two, three, four, five videos on it, just to get our, our feet, if you like. Find our feet in the game. And then maybe it'll become a stream series in the future when we're finished with Power World. Who know? I don't know. If you have any particular opinions, let me know down in the comments. That would be great. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And of course, if you're not subscribed, then please do subscribe. That would be fantastic. Hopefully, I will see you back in some more Enshrouded. Oh, I mentioned streams. Don't forget, of course, I stream on Wednesdays, usually Wednesdays at 7.30pm UK time. Just keep an eye, because sometimes I'm a bit changeable, depending on what's going on in life. Normally Wednesdays at 7.30, though, as I say, we're doing Power World at the moment. Come along and say hello. It'd be wonderful to see you. If I don't see you there, I'll see you next time in Enshrouded. And as always, thank you very much for joining me. <laughs>